Hello, Coach Stephen here from RenegadeGolfTraining.com, and what I'd like to do in this video is show you several ways to use what we call self-myofascial release. Now, I know it sounds like an adult film, but it's not. We're going to use it uh, in a way to break up and loosen up the muscles, in this video, of your lower body. Uh, everything from the bottom of your feet up through your glutes. So we're going to start out with a golf ball. I assume all of you have this handy. We're going to work on what's called the plantar fascia, which is the bottom of your foot. I'm going to place it on, on a hard surface, a hard floor. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to put my weight on it with uh, the ball starting in the arch of my foot. I'm going to put a good amount of weight. I'm going to move the ball around and looking for the tender spots. There's a difference between pressure and tenderness. You'll know when you get to it. Now, oftentimes it is in the ball of the foot, but it could just as easily be for you near the heel and or up near the ball of the foot. I'm going to spend maybe 30 seconds or so on each side, loosening up the plantar fascia on the bottom of the foot. Next, we're going to look at your glutes. Now, for this, we're going to use a lacrosse ball. You could use a tennis ball to start out with, as many people uh, are a real pain in the ass, literally. So, golf ball, uh, lacrosse ball, I'm going to have you sit on the floor and place the lacrosse or tennis ball right in the middle of your glute there, okay? You're going to then cross the same side leg over and get up on the ball and lean into it. Now, what we're going for here are the deep hip rotators, very hard to stretch. So we're going to uh, be releasing them by moving around a little bit. You'll feel the, the gummed up spots, call it granola sometimes, crunching it up there, evening it out, working back and forth, trying to relax and breathe into it. Doesn't look like much until you give it a try, okay? Obviously do both sides. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a foam roller. A nice dense foam roller works the best. We're going to look at three different muscle groups here. We're going to release the calves, we're going to release the IT band, and the quadriceps. So first let's go ahead and start with the IT band. Uh, common to have this very tight on, on golfers and, and all athletes and non-athletes alike. It runs from the hip down the side of your leg and almost wraps around the kneecap, which means when it's tight it can pull the knee out of alignment, oftentimes cause that uh, nondescript knee pain people suffer from. So the way we do this, it's a get in position, like so. Now obviously I have some weight on my forearm, but the majority of my weight is actually on the side of my leg just above my knee. Now there are a couple ways that we can do this. Either you can slowly roll down and find a tender spot and relax into it for 10 or 15 seconds, or my personal preference is to find a tender area and move back and forth over it two to three inches at most, back and forth over it five to ten times, and then move yourself down again, keep a little tension in the midsection so you don't strain your low back, and make sure you move the arm down as you come down so the elbow remains under the shoulder joint, so you don't stretch out the shoulder joint either. You're going to, again, just keep searching around for the tight, tender spots, work your way all the way up to the hip bone, and obviously do the other side. Second, we're going to go for the quadriceps, which are the muscles in front of your leg. You're going to roll over, and again, keep maintain some tension in your, in your abdominal wall to protect your low back. Now you can roll back and forth, down toward the knee, finding any spots that are tender or painful, rolling back and forth. If doing it with two legs, you can't find enough spots, you can cross over and do one leg at a time. This will dramatically increase the pressure and therefore the pain slash effectiveness of this exercise. And finally, the last muscle group we'll work on today are the calves in your lower leg. So, place the, the body, the mid part of your calves on the foam roller and brace the core, lift yourself off the floor just modestly so the pressure is on the calf muscles. Move the foam roller back and forth, again, searching for the tender areas. You can internally rotate to the left, to the right, again, searching out for the tender spots. You can also, if needed, cross over so you have more pressure on the cat muscle from the foam roller. And again, searching for those areas that are extra tender and tight. When you've completed all these uh, foam rolling exercises, 
you'll notice that your legs feel different. They'll, they'll feel more fluid and more loose. This is a great way to prepare uh, your body uh, for stretching if needed. And what you'll find is you have uh, a greater ability to lengthen out your muscles, feel better, stay more energized out on the golf course. So let's go ahead, practice these drills daily, feel better, and let's get after old man Parr.